Meghan Markle looks set to follow in Kate Middleton's footsteps and give birth in the luxurious Linda Wing rather than have her baby on the NHS. Staff at the £6,000 a night private maternity ward have been told to make themselves fully available and not take holiday in April, when the Duchess of Sussex is believed to be due. This has caused rumours to swirl that it will be Meghan's chosen birthing venue after weeks of speculation it could be the NHS Frimley Park Hospital. A source told The Telegraph, staff at the Lindo Wing have been asked not to take holiday in April. Everyone thinks it's got something to do with the royal baby but no one is confirming anything. While Kensington Palace has only said the royal baby is due in spring, Meghan, 37, let slip her expected due date while on an engagement last month. The former actress told fans her first child with Prince Harry, 34, is due towards the end of April or the beginning of May. The Duchess of Cambridge gave birth to her three children, Prince George, 5, Princess Charlotte, 3, and 9-month-old Prince Louis, at the ward in St Mary's Hospital in Paddington, central London. As part of the five-star experience, Mums can pick and choose from a gourmet a la carte menu featuring bottomless champagne and wine. A standard room at the hospital, where Princess Diana gave birth to Princess William and Harry, goes for £5,900 per night and expectant parent who opt for a deluxe room fork out £6,275. While additional nights start at £1,175. Guests who choose to welcome their little one into the world at the private unit sign up for an extravagant package which includes a celebratory afternoon tea when the hard work of labor is over. Routine midwife appointments, blood tests, theater fees, postnatal physiotherapy and routine medications and dressings are also included in the price. If Meghan opts for the Lindo wing, Prince Harry's breakfast and overnight stay would be covered in the pricey deal. Sweets which are thought to cost up to £7,500 per night and offer more space for families, would have been Kate's likely choice when she gave birth to her three children. The NHS Frimley Park Hospital, which is not nearly as luxurious as St Mary's, was previously thought to be Meghan's first choice. The Surrey Hospital is 16 miles from Frogmore Cottage, which Meghan and Harry are due to move into very soon while the couple would face a 23-mile journey to Paddington. In a move seen as a snub to Kate, first-time mum Meghan was said to favour giving birth on the NHS as opposed to going private. The Duchess would not have the option of labouring in private but could choose her own room after her baby has been born. Sophie, Countess of Wessex gave birth to her two children, Lady Louise, 15 and James, Viscount Severn, 11, at the hospital which delivers around 9,500 tots per year. Meghan's mother Doria Ragland is expected to play a pivotal role in the baby's life, according to royal commentator Victoria Murphy. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex are said to have shunned the traditional idea of hiring a royal nanny and instead want Doria to step in with granny duties, according to Vanity Fair royal reporter Kate Nicholl.